it on some shoulders. <laughs> you just lay down. He <laughs> wouldn't even see him. He just sees him. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Pot Bible Fellowship here in the Brothers parking lot in Cheyenne, Wyoming. So for prayer requests this morning, we've got the uh, drivers traveling through the country here. And uh, we're also praying for the uh, drivers up in Canada, those involved in the protest and those that aren't. Uh, we also have the Lewis Burton family. Um, Lewis passed away Saturday. And uh, missionaries in and out of the Ukraine with everything going on out there. Um, we have Mike Roberts going through therapy, hoping he's uh, able to come back and join us here at the chapel soon. And uh, then we have Millie Peach for stroke recovery. We actually have a list this morning. Yes. So and you'll join me. But regular drivers with yeah. all the weather coming in. All right, so if you join me for a word of prayer. Lord, thank you for this day that you've given us. Um, thank you for the couple of days of warm weather we had before the snow moves back in. And uh, on that note, we'd uh, pray for our drivers out here. They're going to be driving through that weather as it comes through, Lord. And pray for Mike Roberts. He has a good, re ther good therapy, good recovery. He's able to get out and start moving around good, Lord. And pray for uh, Millie Peach with her stroke recovery. For the missionaries that are uh, coming in and out of the Ukraine. Um, and we also pray for the drivers up in Canada, Lord, those that are involved in the... Uh, protest and even those that aren't Lord that uh, they're, they uh, are kept safe Lord and then we pray for the Lewis Barton, Barton family as she passed away Saturday Lord and we pray for services here at the chapel this morning be with Dakota as he brings a message for us and we ask all of this in Jesus name Amen Okay Carson it's all you First song we'll turn to one forty seven.
for a second to Psalm 327. John chapter 1 verse 9 says if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness <clears throat> now I don't know about any of you but when I was younger I always thought that if you were good you were going to heaven no matter what um, now I know now that that isn't how it is but that's just what I believed um, 
if if that was the reason, if being good was the way to get to heaven, I guarantee I would not go. Um, <laughs> just because I'm not the greatest person. Um, I wouldn't even be close to going. The Bible says in Romans 3.10, there is none righteous, no, not one. Uh, the Bible is very clear about that. None of us are good. And that verse alone tells us that being good isn't the way to get to heaven. Um, none of us as humans are good or righteous. Uh, we have to be forgiven, uh, not good, to get to heaven. Uh, so today let's talk about how to be forgiven. Uh, first thing, we as people need to realize we are sinners. Um, when we are born, we are sinners already. Um, as hard as that is for some perfect people. Um, uh, it's true. Uh, we're, we were all born sinners. Uh, we all stole something from our brother or sister when we were younger. Um, for me, it was a toy all the time. Always stealing a toy from my sister. Um, we all are carriers of sin, if you will. It's it's contagious, a disease. Uh, we all have it, worse than COVID. Um, the story of, of Adam and Eve is proof of sin. They were created perfect, uh, sinless. Um, the pride, uh, and temptation took them over. Satan tempted them in the garden to eat of the fruit um, and that's where sin all started I guess you could say for humans um, thank, thanks to Adam brought pain and suffering to all of us uh, I guess it's just what had to happen for us to be here in this world the way it is Believe it or not, the consumption of sin um, includes us. Um, sin isn't just going to stop one day because, you know, we decided to quit. And it's going to be there forever, as long as the world turns. Um, we as uh, followers of Christ uh, should see our sin before it happens. We should avoid the temptation Satan gives us throughout our lives. Um, it's hard to escape sin um, if you keep provoking it. You will. If you keep doing the sin over and over again, you can't escape it. Just a story to maybe make it more clear in your mind. I we have a new kitten at home, and uh, I was I was provoking him to get upset with me. And, uh, the more I like hit him hit him in the face, the more he'd scratch my hand. So we could put that in the same category. The more you do that sin the more it's going to hurt you in the future and in the, in the present. Uh, the most important part when we sin is to ask forgiveness of God. And when we ask forgiveness, we can't just ask forgiveness and be, be okay, I'm forgiven now. I can do it again, and he'll forgive me again. He will, but that's not what you're supposed to do. All right? Um, you could forgive him by saying something like this. Dear Lord, I realize now I shouldn't have done what I did. Please keep me from that sin. Keep my eyes on you and your word. Super simple prayer that I have prayed often. I hope you see that. Uh, the Lord will help you if you are serious about your apology. Uh, you can't ask the Lord for forgiveness one second and then right after seek the same sin after. Uh, the Lord knows our heart and won't help us if we just keep going back to that sin. And yet we have to be sincere about our apology to the Lord to realize in our hearts that we are sinners. Are, are we seeking forgiveness or are we seeking attention? It's a blunt question, but it needs a, a yes or no answer is what it needs. Um, I know for sure I'm not the Christian I should be for the Lord, but I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get there. I can, I can be doing more, I can be better for the Lord. Um, I'm not, and I can start by asking God for forgiveness. Uh, number two, we need to know how we have the choice to be forgiven. Now, most of us in here, I'm sure, know the story. But why do we get the choice to be forgiven? Do we deserve it? Well, the answer is no, we don't. Um, 
but we have the choice, thankfully. And the only reason we have the choice, um, I'll tell you with two words, is God's grace. Uh, the only reason any of us are even here is that of God's grace towards us. Um, when, when Adam sinned, God uh, very well could have started the human race over, but he didn't. Started over, destroyed Adam and Eve, started right over, but he didn't. Uh, Jesus came down to earth from the heaven, uh, the most perfect place to be ever. He was up there eating grapes, probably not that, but that's just what I picture. Um, perfect. He came down here in the super sinful world and sacrificed himself for us, for worthless people is what we are. Um, sacrificed himself, uh, came down, died on the cross for our sins, took upon our sins for himself. He no longer looked at them as our sins, but his, in, in the story of the, of the crucifixion, uh, God looked away from uh, Jesus on the cross. And the reason of that is because Jesus had all of our earthly sins upon himself. Um, I know for me, I probably could not put my life down, probably for one person, much less the entire world. But that's what Jesus did for us. Uh, he willingly came down here and did that for us. Um, uh, he didn't have to give us a second chance, but he did uh, on the cross. Um, now, me as a human, I love second chances. Like, um, <coughs> my first job, it was at a small engine um, shop, that, you know, uh, my, as a mechanic. And I went in there, and uh, my first day, I messed something up. It's a great time to do it is on your first day. And luckily, um, my boss gave me a second chance. And then a year later, I got a raise. So it's a great second chance to get on the first day of when you start. Um, but I didn't, I didn't even deserve that second chance, much less the second chance of uh, salvation and a chance of eternal life. Uh, so we've learned that we need to realize that uh, the sin we've done, we've learned that where forgiveness uh, came from. Um, number three I have here, what do we need to do to be forgiven? Uh, well, first of all, we need to realize that the Lord has forgiven us if we give him, or ask him for a sincere apology. Now, if we give him a sincere apology, that's right. Um, I know sometimes when I ask God for forgiveness, a sincere, you know, apology, I'll get, I'll feel better about myself burden will feel like it's been lifted off my shoulders but other times I can tell that it wasn't I wasn't really looking for forgiveness I just felt that you know because you know, I, I prayed and like you know, I felt as if nothing changed and then I can realize I'm like, I know I know I didn't mean that the way I should have um, and, that, and that's not the way to do it I'm sure you can guess that, but it's not the way to do it. Um, if that's the way, if that's the way you feel, um, then you have to get rid of the sin and genuinely repent uh, to the Lord. Once you do that, you have to accept um, His forgiveness. Um, if someone was to offer me a very large piece of land, okay, I'm, I'm going off on the stories today. Okay, if someone was to offer me a large piece of land, I don't know how long say larger than what I have now, which would be nice. Um, the first thing I do is wonder why. What's the catch here, you know? What are you trying to give me? What do you want in return is a better question. Um, with, with God's forgiveness, there's nothing in return. All you have to do is accept it. It's a gift. He gives us the gift of forgiveness. There's no strings attached, nothing. We just have to accept it. Um, there's another gift that I'll, I'll bring up in a second, but we just have to accept. Um, the Lord is gracious towards us, too gracious in my opinion, but, uh, you know, our life is His, so. I don't have a say in it, is what I'm saying here. Uh, he gives us life, He gives us everything we see here, this building, this ministry we have here. Mm -hmm. 
Um, uh, we don't deserve a single portion of anything in this earth. Um, anything. Money is a big part of that. We don't deserve any money. All we deserve is hellfire, if you will. Um, but the Lord, um, it is not the way he gives us the gift of forgiveness. Um, but we just have to accept that gift. Acceptance is the number one thing to do when being forgiven. Um, when I was younger, I got in trouble a lot. All right. I, wh whether it was hitting my sibling or taking a toy, because I did that a lot. I, I always had to apologize to him, you know. And, you know, back then I'm sure it was just the, the simple, yeah, I'm sorry, shrug, you know, walk off. Didn't mean anything, but when they forgive, you know, and one of my sisters forgave me, I'd be like, all right, thanks. You know, thank you for forgiving me. It's the same way with God and his forgiveness. But unlike with me and my sisters, you have to, you know, actually apologize. Right? Um, um, we might pray for some, something we want, but the Lord will give us what we need. Um, I know, for me, going back to me when I was a kid, I've always wanted a really old Camaro. You know, I don't need to tell you why, because it's a really old Camaro. That's the only reason you need. Um, I, I could pray for an old Camaro all I wanted, but I'd probably never get one. Um, just because God knows I don't need one to live my life, per se. Even though I would love one, I can say all I want. Yeah, I need this. It'll help me with my life. <laughs> but with God, we do need His forgiveness. Because... You don't want to. You don't want to be on bad terms with God. Let me put it that way. Um, he forgives us, like I said, with no strings attached. It's not that hard to be forgiven. If you, I, I'm I'm on this point a lot because you have to apologize sincerely to be forgiven truthfully, um, and all you have to do is accept it. Another gift that we have to accept, maybe we don't have to, but I, I hope everybody does accept, is the gift of salvation. Now, the gift of salvation is the, you know, the greatest gift anyone could want or have. Um, on the same note as forgiveness, we don't deserve it. Um, and the same way forgiveness was given, the same way salvation was given. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, paying the price for all of us, each and every one of us. Um, I know people that talk about uh, the crucifixion um, as if you know, Jesus only died for them, and that's, that's the way it is. If you're talking about yourself, Jesus did die for you personally, um, but died for everyone else as well. One-to-one, uh, -one, God died for you, is what it is, plain and simple. And we have this gift um, of salvation. All we have to do is accept it. Now, we never ask God to die for us, or Jesus to die for us. Um, but he did anyway. Gave us that second chance um, of eternal life, which is amazing. Eternal life sounds pretty good, as long as it's not here on earth. Um, and greater news is anyone can have this gift. Anyway. And it's, it's another one of those things. Uh, we, don't, we don't deserve it, but God gives it to us anyway. It's like at Christmas you have, you have that like parent or grandparent that gets you something you need, but you never asked for it. Like, like pants. All right? I hit the stage, I think it was two years ago, where I didn't get any more like anything cool. Let me put it that way. I didn't get anything cool. I got a pair of pants and socks, and I'm like, thank you. This is great. It's not, it's not what I want. <laughs> you know, 
But for salvation, you could say, I use this slightly, but Jesus is the, is the cool grandpa, all right? He gives us the salvation even when we don't ask for it. And that's what I like, you know? Um, and all we have to do for salvation is believe. <laughs> believe in Jesus, his death, burial, and resurrection. Just believe. Once we believe that, uh, we're saved from eternal hell, is what it is. Um, and if you want to know what being saved is like, it's like it. It's like those TV commercials say: ask someone who has the product, and they'll give you a real review. You know, that's how it is. Ask a saved person how they feel, and I guarantee you, they're gonna feel a lot different than you do unsaved. I remember when I when I was unsaved. I, I remember what it felt like, and I am I've changed quite a bit from then, and I feel so much better about myself. Um, even though I think I was only maybe five through nine, I remember being sad a lot. <laughs> now I'm happy. I feel different. I feel like a burden has been lifted. Um, sadness and sin and just worldly stuff. I'm not saying it's all gone because, you know, I'm human just like anyone else. But it's still there. Um, just not just not constantly like it was. God doesn't ask for a lot uh, for salvation or the gift of forgiveness. All we have to do is accept both of those things and we'll be fine. I have for number five here, repent to the Lord we as Christians and even non-Christians confess our sins to the Lord the Bible says he will forgive us and cleanse us of that sin um, like it says in 1 John 1 9 if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness God will forgive us it's just the, it's just the choice that we have to make do we want to be forgiven and I hope everyone in here would want to be forgiven To acquire these two gifts from the Lord, uh, we have to confess and believe. Um, to be forgiven, we need to repent. Uh, to be saved um, from eternal hell uh, is to believe in the death and burial of Jesus. Repentance and belief is all we need to be forgiven um, and to be saved. Uh, so I ask you this morning, are you forgiven and do you believe? It's a simple question, and the answer should be simple as well. If not, there are many of us here at the, at the chapel uh, that are uh, willing to talk you through it, the plan of salvation. Um, and if you, if you think you're already saved, then um, we can get forgiveness for you as well if you feel like you need to apologize to God for something or ask for that forgiveness. Um, then and only then will you feel whole, and the burden of sin will be lifted or feel lifted, uh, and trust me, if you don't, if you don't feel a change as a Christian, then you can, you can blame me for that. But I guarantee, a hundred percent, you will feel a change in your heart. Um, that's all I have this morning. But I want, I want the, I want the words um, to ponder in your mind and your heart uh, as you go throughout the week um, and throughout uh, this day. And just remember that we ha we do have a second chance. God gives us chances all the time. Um, I, I think of people that get sick, and then you know, just one overnight, they're fine. I, be I believe that was a, a second chance from God that we also don't deserve. But yeah, just, just go out through your day and remember we have a second chance. It's not it's not the end of the line. We can do it. All right, well, that's all I have, so I'll pray, and then I think we have another song. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, thanks for the wonderful morning that you've given to us. And thanks for the weather outside, Lord. Uh, thank you that we could all make it here uh, this morning to the chapel. Uh, please help that the words that uh, you gave me would work in people's minds and hearts, Lord, that they 
you'll see a, uh, a difference in themselves, Lord, and that they will change. Please keep us safe throughout the rest of the day, Lord. We ask for the for the health needs we had in the, on the prayer list and everything else we had, Lord. And, uh, truck drivers in Canada, Lord, and truck drivers here, keep them safe as they travel, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Last song we will turn to three th three thirty seven. out here this morning and thank you for those online joining us as well um, we got some compliments online to go to so but uh, we'll uh, pray for the day and then we'll be dismissed Lord thank you for this day that you've given us uh, thank you for um, the drivers that we have out here willing to deliver the goods that we need in order to live our lives and uh, thank you for uh, the young men who agreed to come out and help us out here at the chapel while Brother Mike is uh, recovering. And uh, thank, you. We thank you for all of this, Lord. And, and uh, we ask you to help us throughout the day. Keep us all safe. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Tongue twisted. <laughs>